all I see is snakes in the eyes of these niggas Mama taught me how to read them when I look Miss me at the priest and get booked I'm gonna put my hand up right now and say I don't listen to Earl I've never heard a full album by him Like it or not when it drop, bet he gotta listen Chasing dragons trying to make it happen on a mission Step into the shadows, we could talk addiction The mixing is weird It's like who turn to get up, get dudes, turn to dinner quick You circus niggas, you turning into tricks I was making waves, you was surfing in them it's, It sounds too... It's not for me A lot of people ask us if we do yeah, drugs I know, because we're so hyperactive You know what? It kind of, that kind of annoys me in a way to the point like, because people just feel like people, you know, people listen to so much hip hop that they're like, it's such a drug themed culture. Mm. So when they see someone acting in any form or manner that is hyperactive or different, they just assume these people must be doing drugs. Mm. I don't like that mentality. Well, it's also partly hyperbole, exaggeration, joke, but some people no, are serious. Some, yeah, that's the thing. Because I remember growing up and starting going to clubs when I was like 18, 19, 20, when I was going clubbing and out like dancing, drinking a lot. What are, you, what are you smiling for? Just dancing. Well, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, I'd, I've always been terrible. The thing is, I'd be, I'd be having a really good time and being super like energetic and legit people would come up to me and be like, what do you want? Where can I get it? And I'd tell them, I'm not on anything. And they'd look at me laughing like, nah, like, what are you actually on? Where can I get it? That's like, really interesting. Like legit. And it would happen probably 50% of the time I went out. People would always come up to me asking for drugs because they'd look at me seeing that I'd be having a, a good a time as anyone else around them. Hmm. And be like, this guy's having the most fun. But you so He must, be, yeah. Exactly. I was so alcohol. Sometimes? Alcohol. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like I drank a lot when I was younger. I don't drink pretty much at all anymore. But back then, that was the that was my go to. That's really interesting. We're Jungle Beats. Yeah. We're Jungle Australia's Beats. plug to the dro most drugged out reviews in the country. Hundred. I'm Alexander Sandalas, aka Poncho Sandy Sand. I'm Cocaine Clarence. <laughs> and we're in here reviewing our first Earl sweatshirt review. This man's been quiet for years. I'm gonna put my hand up right now and say I don't listen to Earl. I've never heard a full album by him. <laughs> but this man is the opposite. Ooh. Ooh. I've been following L for a long time. L's mixtape, <sighs> Doris. I don't like shit, I don't go outside. I talk shit about Dolores. All this man. shit on the fucking Not Future tapes. I fuck with L Heavy. His wordplay is insane. His rhyme schemes, his voice, the production shoes to go on. Legit, this, this fucking man is amazing. And it's just so hard not hearing music if I'm in for such a long period of time. So I'm hyped as fuck to get to this. Let's get it. Are you pretty thing? Hold me down. Hold me up. Hold me close. Close my tongue. Close my eyes. Hold me That's a dope track. But this track, this ain't it, L. That ain't it. We waited four years. That better not be on the album, unless it's... I kind of get it. It's a creative track. It's a very artistic track. You weren't familiar with him, so... The mixing is weird. It's like... It's, it sounds too... It's not for me. I'm not going to go back to the track, I'll be the, honest. The production was super repetitive. And even and his nasally rep repetitive voice. Is that kind of his style though? Or no? Not really. In a way, yeah. But even when the way it started off with the feature, then he came in after the feature. 
but your the voice was so far away the production was so loud it was very hard to hear what you're saying yeah. and i get this is the way that you want to do this track that's the artistic way you want to do it but i just didn't find it that i just didn't find it that enjoyable man it's a very it's a very disappointing single it almost felt like a throwaway but i don't but know. I, I see the artistic stuff you're talking about I feel like a lot of people gonna fuck with this still because it's kind of standing in its own lane. Exactly, like and kind of like people people love L, so when L was gonna try something new like this, I feel like a lot of people would fuck with this. A lot of old school heads will fuck with this. Um, but I don't fuck with it. I didn't really enjoy this track. Sorry guys, please leave a, your emotional comment below of why you think our opinions are wrong. I don't know, man. I don't like shit. That side was amazing. This is past two, and that whole album is probably his best work. And this, yeah, not feeling it. The Jungle Beats. Shit. Sorry, yo. Fuck. Support us on Patreon. We'll help you out.